Sisters. This is Jana with Pearl Together. This week I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a yarn review. I haven't done one before, but I had the opportunity to receive a few skeins of Brown Sheep Company's Nature Spun, and I've really enjoyed working with it. Now they did send this these skeins to me at no cost, uh, but my opinions here are absolutely my own, and I'll tell you what I found to be kind of the pros and cons of this workhorse yarn. Okay, so I'll show you what I picked, what I chose for colors, and then what I decided to do instead, because you know I'm really famous for changing my mind. So look at these colors, these are absolutely beautiful. A lot of yardage. So let me explain, first of all, one skein or ball of Nature Spun, this is Nature Spun fingering, but this particular yarn comes in four different weights. So you can pretty much find whatever you need for whatever project, also over 80 colors. So that's fantastic. And I'll tell you what I ended up doing to match some colors for a project that I wanted to do. So each one of these balls is 50 grams, I believe, and it is about 310 yards. So that's a lot, but it's very affordable. A, a ball of fingering, I think, ends up being between six and seven dollars, depending on your, the store where you find it. You can also, if you don't have a local yarn store near you, you can order directly from Brown Sheep Company. They've just updated their entire website and made it easy to choose what you want. If you're not able to get to a local yarn store, or like me, you live in the middle of nowhere and you don't really have a local yarn store except my favorite one in Ogden, Utah. <laughs> anyway, so that's really cool that you can order directly from them. Tons of color choices, four different weights that this yarn comes in. It's 100% wool and it is moth proof. That's amazing. Because it's 100% wool, you could use it for your felting projects and that would work as well. I wanted to use the fingering for either a shawl or a fair isle project. When they had the opportunity to pick my colors, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I picked these colors, but then I found this hat I really wanted to make. It's the Katie's Kep from the Shetland Wool Week, and it's this year's hat, and I really wanted to make it. But the colors that I really liked come from a kit, a hand-spun kit from Shetland. But I wanted to make it now, because, you know, I wanted to do it, and I didn't. These kits from Shetland are fantastic and they're absolutely amazing, but I wasn't sure I wanted to wait that long. So Anne Frost from the I Thought I Knew How podcast, check her out, link down below. She helped me figure out what would be um, similar colors to what came in her kit that she got from Shetland. And because the Nature Spun has so many color combinations, we were able to match up those colors from this particular design with colors that are very, very similar in the Nature Spun line. So I hope that makes sense. So I ended up knitting this Fair Isle hat. Look at that. And look at the crown. I love that star. Look at that. And I wanted to do that with the Nature Spun. Let me make that crown better. Isn't that amazing? So I'll link to this pattern down below, but check it out. The colors that I used for that, I'm also gonna have a ton left over because these skeins are so big, I'm gonna have a bunch of these skeins left over to do something else, else with, which I'm super happy about. Look at, look, isn't that beautiful? So I'm gonna have a bunch of these left over and I'm gonna maybe, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So if you have suggestions for a shawl for me down below, put this down below. What you think would look great with autumnal color, earthy kind of colors like that. That's fantastic. So I'll tell you what I found about my experience with Nature Spun Fingering and Fair Isle. The yarn is very consistent. It's very consistently spun. I didn't find any thick or thin spots, so that was really nice. Especially when you're doing Fair Isle and you have so much going on with the pattern and carrying two colors, the last thing you really wanna worry about is the consistency of the yarn. So I really enjoyed that it was very consistent and I have I need to block it, so I'll see how much it blooms, but I really liked that it was very consistent to knit with. It's very smooth, which I'm not sure is such a great thing for Fair Isle. If you compared Nature Spun Fingering to Jameson's and Smith, for example, um, this one, 
this feels more scritchy. It feels more rustic or crispy. And so it tends to grab itself a little better. If you had to uh, rip some out and frog back, you want that yarn to hold its shape and to grip itself. The Nature Spun holds its shape just fine because it is 100% wool. So that has that elasticity and that's fantastic. It isn't quite as, um, as grabby. So if I were knitting an all over Fair Isle sweater or some kind of a pullover and I wanted to steek it, I'm truthfully not, I don't know how that would go. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't try it because I haven't, but I don't have enough experience with steaking and that kind of thing to know the grip factor and how important is that. But for regular Fair Isle uh, hats, mittens, you know, maybe a, a scarf or double knitting, I would absolutely go with Nature Spun. It's also affordable and comes in giant balls. It's great. I can't wait to decide what to do with the rest of what they sent me. I'm super happy. So they sent me those four, but then I ordered the colors that Anne helped me find. Just to clarify, they didn't send me all of that. But I ordered that, and they were quick with shipping, too. It didn't take very long at all. Now, I live close to Nebraska, so that's part of it. But still, as soon as I placed my order, bam, it was shipped the next day. I will also say their customer service is fantastic. Now, I have visited Brown Sheep before in Nebraska. I've been to their uh, factory second store, which is attached to the mill. If you have a chance to get over to Mitchell, Nebraska, absolutely do that. Take a tour of the mill. Meet the people there and go and get, so check out the little store that's attached to the mill. So that's where they sell like uh, mill ins and factory seconds. You can get some great deals on stuff. I've done it lots of times. They're just fantastic people that you would want to sit and knit with, right? And they're also environmentally conscious. They recycle their water and they use that more than once. So in Nebraska on the prairies, that's important. We do not live in a lush uh you know, water is important on the high prairie. So kudos to them for being environmentally conscious about that. So not only are they environmentally conscious, their yarn is affordable and it comes in a bajillion colors and it's made in America. What more can you want? So like I said, the only thing I think would be a little iffy using this for Fair Isle would be if I was going to steak, I would definitely want to knit a sample and try that out first because it doesn't seem, it's more smooth which is delightful to knit knit with, and it slides through your fingers so you get good gauge, uh, and it's less scritchy, if you will, uh, but it's not as grippy, so I'm not sure about the steaking part, but I don't, that's something I'm endeavoring to learn, and I don't have a lot of experience about that. Overall, though, absolutely a great workhorse yarn. I would definitely go and check out Nature Spun by Brown Sheep. Links are down below. So just to wrap up, the Nature Spun comes in over 80 different colors. It comes in four different yarn weights, and it's totally affordable, made in America. Go check it out. Thanks again to Brown Sheep for sending me some samples to knit with, and I'm excited. I'm excited. I ordered more. I'm excited to figure out what to do with these colors I have left over from my hat. Isn't that aren't those lovely? As always, if you find these videos helpful, give me a thumbs up, click down below to subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.